what is up guys so this video here is going to be for those of you that want to know how to convert your OEM steel lines to AN fittings now the reason you may want to do this is because you need to run a aftermarket fuel filter you have an AEM fuel rail that you want to use AN fittings etc um, so in my situation I have a 5 16 steel uh, line I went out and measured it with these fancy Mirutoyo calipers um, so the main component to it all is this compression fitting here this goes from a 5 16 outer diameter steel line to a 6 an female and this here is a compression fitting you have a little brass bushing type of deal that slips over your fuel line and you compress these together creates a tight mechanical seal. This here was around eight dollars from Summit Racing. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, then to go from your feet from your female, you're gonna need a double male uh, so that you can use an AN hose end onto it. So if you could imagine this here is your fuel filter inlet. So this here will plug into the bottom of that. Um, and then you have these other two fittings to go to your outlet. This here is a 6AN nylon braided fuel line compatible with all types of fuels, methanol, ethanol, uh, even I think even nitromethane if you please. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then to plug in to an AEM fuel rail, if that's what you're running, you're going to need this fitting here. Now that the threads on the inside of the fuel rail are not NPT, they are straight thread and they require this fitting with the O-ring on there to create a seal. And this go converts to a male AN where your um, filter outlet hose would connect to. So that's basically it. I'll link all these parts in the description. Um, you know, double male, the AEM fuel rail fitting, the compression fitting for your fuel line. Um, so this fuel filter here is from Fuel Lab. This one was a hundred and thirty something dollars. The reason it's so expensive is because it's practically the only one that filters down to six microns. Now the reason you want to filter down so small is because most injectors have a seven micron mesh built into them to protect uh, the uh, the nozzles so if you're running like a 40 micron that's not good enough it's just going to be letting shit through and are eventually going to clog up you may run lean you may ruin injectors you may even blow up your motor who knows so I'd rather spend the 130 bucks here than to have to redo my bottom end um, this features a fiberglass uh, element that's replaceable it's around 33 bucks uh, I believe it's the three inch version. They have a five inch version which is, which is huge and insane. Um, it can handle 200 psi and 200 gallons per minute. Now mind you, my AEM 320 LPH only puts out 84 gallons per, per hour. Did I say gallons per minute earlier? I meant gallons per hour. Sorry. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it's, it's capable of m more than enough flow than you could ever imagine on a little four cylinder. Um, I'm using this setup for my CB7. Um, I'm just waiting on the fuel rail to come in. So you can see there is a AEM fuel pressure regulator adjustable with a one to one uh, rise ratio. So yeah, that is how you do it. Thank you for watching.